Finley James Strandberg, and this is my 1961 Willie Steve. Look at this thing. This is this is a pristine Jeep. How long have you had it, Finn? Um, you had about a year now. A year? Yeah. Find it in a barn or something? Oh, we got it from our. Do you have a table? Do you have a folded table? That's pretty cool. And, and then we painted it. And well, wait a minute. How old are you? I'm I'm 12. Just, so just the Jeep's 12. the Jeep's a lot older than you. Yeah. <laughs> but you could drive it, can't you? Yeah, I can. Okay, so, so you we, found it in a barn. Yeah, we found it. We found it. At, yeah, we found it in a barn. And then, a little louder, so the box, so I can hear you. We, yeah, we found it, and then we pulled it into our our friend's shop. We started. We got it running. Um, I think it was the second day we had it, and then a, like a month later, we took it to our house. We sanded it down, did a couple engine swaps, and then we painted it under two weeks. Wow, yep. that's cool. Yep. So why'd you do the engine swaps? On because the original engine that we had it was leaking oil pretty bad, and we blew it up. Oh, uh, gotcha. Well, can we see what you have in there now? Yeah, right now we got a factory flathead four. Oh no, it's the F head. Oh, yeah, F head. F head, right. And um, wow, that's nice. We had to we put this engine in two times because we had the wrong he gasket in for the head. Right. For the top, for the top part of the block, so we had to replace that, and then we put the engine back in, and then it fired up because this engine was rebuilt like 16 years ago now. Yeah. And um, and the guy that we got it from, he assembled it wrong, so we rebuilt. They, they put an L head head gasket on it when they rebuilt it. There's so, a few holes different. Uh, They're a little bit. So we yeah. had uh, we had some compression leaking out. Yeah, I as bet you, you can did. Imagine, and we, so we pulled it apart, and I actually had him help me pull the engine apart and find the uh, um, find the head gasket issue and all that stuff. So, right. Uh, put the correct one back in, got it to fire up, and it's been running and driving since. Um, That's pretty good. F head. We have a T98 four speed in it. That was kind of a rare one. With it being 61, they only offered it for a little bit. Absolutely. Um, and and for uh, those of you who don't know, T98 four speed is cool because it has a real low granny first gear. Yep. You don't drive in it. Right. Well, off road you do. Yep. But you usually don't start. It's it's kind it. of the rock crawler version. Um, right. This one. Uh, as you can see up here when you're initially doing oh, you know, old school, doing the compression numbers for That's the cylinders, yeah. checking everything out. Um, the color is, we couldn't tell if it was peacock or mallard, so we just chose something that was kind of in between. It's a jet turquoise and yeah, we'll do well, the engine bay it, and stuff later. It but, looks perfect. Yep. And then this winch on the front is absolutely incredible. This is my, my style. Tell me about the, tell so me about the winch. This winch is actually a PTO winch. It's not any typical electric one. And it it works. It's it's just the cable's a little bit old, but that's fine. It's not going to hurt anybody. Right. But this engine still works. It runs off the engine. So you do the this is the clutch then. It just moves yeah. it back and forth, and you have a so drive shaft, the, right? Yeah, we have a drive shaft hitting up into the key case. So then when you pull this um when you pull this lever, it engages the winch, uh -huh. and you can also shift the gear so it can go faster and stuff. Right. You don't have to have yeah. the last speed. Uh, a lot of people have told us to, to get rid of it and go electric, but you know, this, part of part of what we like about this is it was already on here and it runs and it works. Absolutely. And it is kind of unique to still find them because they might not be as, as efficient and everything else as a modern, but it's it's the rustic cool. Oh, so, I'll trade I'll trade you any time. Yeah. So we've done a few other little safety upgrades um, to it. We built the the 44 rear a few a uh, few weeks ago. Right. We built the power lock in it. We did swap the front, so he has disc, uh, disc brakes. In okay, front. you have disc brakes in the front. That's nice. But, uh, it helps you yeah, stop he, a little quicker. Yeah. Can you tell? Can you tell the difference by your foot? So with, uh, I don't. I don't really know that much yet. But all I know it's not drum brakes, so it won't like right. not break when we get driving in water and like. A what about the water. feel on the foot? What do you? Um. Feel like it. Does it feel better? Oh uh, yeah, it you feel, like it yeah, you feel, it feels a lot better. Actually. Okay, good. That's cool. So tell me about the inside. Those it's, seats are cool. Yeah, these seats are the original ones. Wow, we think original fabric. Yeah. Ooh. Right, we might get some. Um, we might get some different seats. Um, the interior we haven't really changed. We just painted the dash black. Yeah. And um. So. Original top. 
no, this is actually, so, Best Top, last DJS, they asked, they were asking about this Jeep, and they signed us, well, they got us into this, like, advertisement kind of thing on, on their YouTube channel, if you go on the Best Top, um, if you, you can, if you scroll down enough in their videos, you can find this Jeep of us putting on this top. Oh, perfect. And so, last year at this event, um, out here, we talked with some people at Best Top, and we were talking about, we are just getting this thing running, just got it fired, and was trying to get it rolling, and they're like, well, we'd love to, um, work with you guys and get a top, because we had one of the hard tops on it that we're going to have to redo. Um, and so they invited us up, we're out of Parker, Colorado, which is Denver Metro, um, they invite us up to their show house or their uh, their warehouse to do a video shoot. Yeah, because so they're in Denver ish. Yep. Yeah. So we drove up there for the day, did a video shoot, and they've been using that for some advertising. Um, so he got some great exposure through that. And uh, yeah, today we took it out, did Porcupine Rim. Oh, that's a great trip. I did yep. it Sunday. And uh, Finley got to do a few of the obstacles. And, oh boy, that's good. He so you've got some well. good experience oh, yes. driving. Yeah. So. All right, so like you say on the inside, it's all basically stock, a micro lock, a couple of gauges, other than that, that's really sweet. And some other switches, we don't even know what the heck it does. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> that's how a Jeep is. <laughs> yeah. And then um, if for the best top video about us talking about this, there's a behind the scenes on my own YouTube channel, Gasoline Masters. That's your YouTube channel? Yep, and make sure you guys subscribe to that. Oh yeah, I'll go check it out. Yeah. How are you, 12? Yep. You're doing great. You're doing great. All right, so uh, I'd say I'd like to go out on a trail ride with you, but I'm going home to Arizona. When are you gonna, when are you gonna be in Arizona? Oh, oh, I don't know. Well, anytime you wanna come to my neck of the woods, you're welcome to ride with me. We'll go on a little trip, okay? Oh boy, yeah. Right, We'll take you up on that. We'll, All right. uh, we'll look you up. Well, thanks again for talking to us here at Gone Jeep, and I think, uh, Finn, you're doing an awesome job dad <laughs> this is the way it should be thank you and there you are with your 61 cj5